So here's what's interesting about chemistry. If you have a molecule, all right, usually the molecule has energy contained within it. There are exceptions to this, but let's take one where there's energy there. What that means is if you break apart the molecule, energy is released. Okay, that would be an exothermic reaction. All I'm saying about crystals is that crystals is in the lowest energy state of the atoms in the lattice. So crystals are just not big radiators of energy. All right, you want something to radiate energy, it's because there's chemical reactions happening in them actively. All right, and by the way, you can have an endothermic reaction where you break apart a chemical and it absorbs energy. That happens, that's kind of cool. That's the cold pack. You ever get a cold pack, all right? And you, 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 you shake it and you jiggle it and it starts getting cold, all right? Those are chemical reactions that suck energy from the environment. And others, you can do the same thing and it'll release energy, so it'll be a hot pack, all right? So chemistry's fun that way, but there's a set of states of matter where no matter what you do to it, no energy comes out of it. And a crystal is one of the best of examples of that state of matter, which is why crystals last practically forever. Why do you think salt is dug out of mines and that salt has been there for millions of years and it's still salt? Bury anything else for millions of years and check it out later. See if it's still what you thought it was when you put it down there. Diamonds are crystals? I can hear the song. Diamonds are forever. Ah. Crystals just have a way with lasting. So, yeah, no. And by the way, if you have some substance and it's like radiating, get the hell out of the room, okay? So it's probably some radioactive element, okay, that's transmutating. Time to wear, but put on your lead, your lead clothing, all right, if you got that in your house.